It is a busy week at the State House, the second funnel week and a final push for lawmakers to keep legislation afloat. Today we got a bit of a surprise. Local 5's Mary Sugden joins us to explain a unique last ditch effort. Yes, Samantha, the bill before the House State Government Committee dealt with licenses for barbers, but the amendment that was put forward had nothing to do with cosmetology. In fact, it would prevent pipeline companies from using eminent domain over private property owners for the next year. Now, committee chair Republican Bobby Kaufman introduced the amendment and said it's not anti-pipeline. He says it allows negotiations between pipeline companies and homeowners to continue without threat of eminent domain. Now, Democrats, however, raised concerns over the method Kaufman was using to get this piece attached, while others said the protection doesn't go far enough to protect homeowners. But this, to me, was the best compromise that I can come up with to ensure that landowners have the certainty that they need and have been asking for when we're gone. Because everybody knows things change when signy die happens before we come back again in January. I have great concerns. I don't think this is the right vehicle for it, and I also don't think this language addresses the concerns that we have ongoing. Now, this amendment and the full cosmetology bill passed out of committee. This means it will go to the full Senate floor for both a discussion and a debate. Now, if it passes, it would mean that these pipeline companies could not use eminent domain against property owners through March of 2023. In the studio, Mary Sugden, Local 5 News, we are Iowa.